Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial of computer graphics programming uh, with OpenGL graphics library in Visual Studio. Today we will learn about the midpoint circle generation generation algorithm. Another name for this one is Brezhnev circle generation algorithm. In this one, uh, in this algorithm, we are having to calculate only one octant. That is, the circle is divided into eight equal symmetries and then we are calculating the pixel for only one octant and then it is uh, expanding to the other octant for this purpose uh, the code for the midpoint circle generation algorithm is given below you can copy the code you can download the code and just copy the code and go to the new project in Visual Studio. Select Visual C++. Select empty project. Write the name of your project. Some name you can write. Now uh, go to the uh, project name. You are having uh, four folders here attached with your project. If it is not coming, go to the view and click on the solution explorer this uh, pane will be open right click on your project go to the add button click on the new item click on the c++ file write some name of the file add this file to your project paste your code here the code is pasted our code is started from this point circle midpoint and up to the this point this is our algorithm if you will see we have calculated only for one octant and then it is replicated to the other octants it is divided into eight equal out octants the circle is divided into eight equal octants and calculate for the first octant and then it is replicated to the other octant now we need to set the environment variables right click on your project go to the properties click on cc++ go to general button select additional include directories click on the edit button we need to add the header files from glut and glue glut and glue you can download from the first tutorial click on the include button select folder same thing for the glue to execute the program in Visual Studio for OpenGL, we need glut and glue file, desktop, glue and glut, this time for the glue, select include folder, click on OK button. Now go to linker file, click on general button, additional library directories, this time we will go for the library folder. Where is your glut and glue folder? Click on library. This time for the glue library, click on OK button. One thing is remaining for the input. Click on input tab. Go to the additional dependencies. Click on edit button. Here, write the name free glut dot lib glue 32 dot lib how to set the environment variables it is explained in the first tutorial you can watch the first tutorial click on apply button click on ok now uh, one thing is remaining to execute this program successfully uh, that is our glue and glut dll file go to your glue and glut folder here with the uh, it is glue and glut we are having two dll files free glut and glue 32 dll go to your project right click on your project go to folder in windows explorer and paste two files here dll files now everything environment is set we can copy and paste to this file to the system 32 file but due to security reason most of the time it is not working so we are copying here it is okay 
now everything is set we can execute the program debug the program we need to build the program when build is succeeded we will get the output this is the output of the project this is our circle the width of the circle is defined here point size you can increase or decrease the point size you will get the different output gl point size the pixel size we are explaining that is one pixel of the computer screen will be equal to the pixel size of our algorithm our circle so guys this is all about the midpoint circle generation algorithm the second name is also called as Brisham circle generation algorithm circle uh, the basic thing about the circle is that uh, we can generate infinite points on the circle but when to stop and when to start that is given by the Bresenham and we are using the decision parameter here for generating the circle algorithm this is the decision parameter this is the initial decision parameter and this is the uh, subsequent decision parameter depending upon the decision parameter value if p is less than 0 this will be x plus plus and p next p will be 2 into x plus 1 plus p and same thing for the other value if p is uh, positive the previous p it will be y minus minus and p plus uh, p will be p plus 2 into x minus y plus 1 the theory you can study from the book thank you for watching the channel uh, please subscribe the channel for more videos regarding the uh, computer graphics tutorial for the beginners thank you once again